Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new video on the channel. Yes, I've got my hood up, allow it. I just got out of the shower and I need to get this video out quick and the hair's just like, it's, it's all over the place, so just, just allow it. But yeah, the first thing that I'm going to be showing you in today's video is how to do this sort of cartoon mask effect. And then after that, I'm going to show you how to do this insane RGB impact. So make sure to stick around for that. I'm going to keep the intro as short as possible because I want to get straight into the video. But all I ask you guys to do is just drop a like and subscribe to the channel with post notifications on. It really would mean a lot because I have spent quite a bit of time making this video and just thinking of something unique to show you guys. So if you could just pay me back by doing that, that would mean the world to me. Also, if you want help with editing, free editing assets or opinions on your edits then make sure to join my discord link in description i highly highly suggest it because it's a great active community but yeah let's get straight into the video all right so as always guys the first thing you want to go ahead and do is drag and drop your song in and then also your clip and roughly sync it up by putting the shield crack over the main beat drop which you can make a marker to identify where that is using m on your keyboard then from here you want to right click insert remove envelope add velocity Want to add a point right on the middle of that marker there and go one two three four five six frames to the left also add a point right here then go back to here go one to the right and about three quarters in between this and this point here you want to add another point put this to 50 percent and put this to 300 or 200 percent depending on your personal preference now you want to go one frame to the left here and split the clip this is where the effect after the kill is going to be and then you want to go about 30 frames, roughly around 30 frames to the left on this side where we can add the pre-shaken effect. So I say around here is good. All right, so now we can actually start to work on adding effects to the clip. The first thing we're going to be working on is the pre-shake. Uh, the first effect you want to apply is uni.texturize. You want to go ahead and drag and drop the default version on. And you want to keyframe the texture opacity or we'll put it down to zero first. And then keyframe the texture opacity, go to the end of the clip, put this all the way up to 100. And that's just going to build up this kind of black sort of stuff on the side. And it just overall darkens the image whilst the center stays pretty bright. So yeah, that looks really, really nice. Next thing I'm going to go ahead and add is S underscore shake. And what we're going to go ahead and do with this is you want to go ahead and drag and drop the default version on and then copy my settings right here. So we're going to start with zero. And then I'm going to open up the other stuff right here so you can go ahead and fully copy my settings like that. So you want to keyframe the amplitude from zero, go to the end of the clip and put this all the way up to 1.4, just like that. And that's just going to add a nice bit of build up shake like that before the kill. Finally, you want to go ahead and go up to S underscore hue sat bright and you want to drag the default version on. Go to the start of the clip, keyframe the saturation at 1, then go to the end and put this all the way down to 0. And that's basically going to wash out all the colour as the clip goes along. And then when the kill happens, all the colour is going to come straight back in. Next, you want to go ahead and insert a new video track. Then hold control and drag this up to duplicate the whole video. Then you want to click U on your keyboard and then delete the bottom audio so it doesn't repeat itself twice. Now you want to go on to pan and crop, then go roughly anywhere in the video and get the mask, uh, get the oval shape and put a rough shape around your character right here. Set this to out and set this to 15. Then you want to go ahead and fade this in. And you also want to fade this clip in like that as well. And make sure these are both matching over each other. That means that it's not all of a sudden going to come in with the effect but now you want to go ahead and lower the opacity of the original clip to about 70 percent that would be good and here we're going to be adding the effects so one quick thing you need to do is remove the texturize uh, and remove the hue sap bright so we only have that shake left so that's really going to keep the color of the actual character and make it look really really good so now you want to go and scroll up no actually i think it's right here uh, scroll down uh, to find S underscore sharpen right here. Drag the default version in and we're going to turn the sharpen chroma all the way up to 5 to really bring out the color. And you can actually leave everything else as it is. Uh, so yeah, that's all you have to go ahead and do for that. Then you want to click off 
and as you can see it's gonna fade in your character is gonna it's gonna get a, like a kind of cartoon effect and as soon as the kill happens there all the color comes back in so it looks really really clean okay so now i'm going to be showing you exactly how to do that insane rgb impact the first thing you want to go ahead and do is get your first effect which is going to be uni underscore rgb separation you want to drag and drop the default version in you want to put the radius up to 50 then you want to keyframe it and i don't actually recommend a certain amount of keyframes to move but i will say just go roughly where you think it's appropriate to stop so this is going to be different for all clips but i think around here is good so i'm going to go ahead and put this down to zero right here and that is where all the rgb is going to come back together so yeah the next thing you want to go ahead and add is s underscore shake again this is going to be the same old shake that i always show it's just the regular highlight shake so you want to drag and drop that in there um keyframe the amplitude and then go just a little bit after where you did the rgb and bring that down to zero Again, if you want to see these settings, I'll really quickly open them up for you guys, but I have shown this off quite a lot of times in the past. So there you go, those are the settings. Next effect you want to add after the shake is the S underscore flicker. You can go ahead and drag the default version in and copy my settings right here. So I'm going to drag this on and this is all these settings right here. I actually recommend you turn the brightness down to about 1.1 just because all the other effects are really going to brighten up in a minute. Yeah, you want to keyframe it at 0.2 and i recommend just going to the end of putting it like half in it by putting it at 0.1 the next effect you want to go ahead and add is the s underscore raise like all other effects we're going to be dragging in the default version and you can copy my settings so go ahead and copy all of these settings right here and you want to keyframe the raise brightness then go in line with the rgb separation and put this all the way down to zero just like that Next, we're going to be adding S underscore distort RGB. You want to go ahead and drag the default version in again and copy my settings right here. So, right here. Now, what you want to go ahead and do for this is keyframe the amount from minus 0.05 to 0 on this point right here. And that is going to add some really nice RGB with the RGB separation. Next up, we're going to be adding S underscore streaks. You want to drag the default version in right there. You want to go right here and you want to keyframe the threshold from 0.4 and then keyframe all of that. Go in line again with the RGB separation and put this all the way up to 1. And that's just going to add some, it's really going to complement the rays nicely and it's going to bring out the color of the clip. So yeah, guys, that's basically the whole effect right there. I really hope this video did help you out in some sort of way and you did enjoy it. It's a pretty unique effect, apart from the fact that it's that common concept of using a mask, I haven't really seen anyone do something like this and use those effects on an RGB impact. So yeah, I really hope you did enjoy this sort of video. If you would like to see more tutorials, highlight videos, make sure to subscribe to the channel with post notifications on. If you guys could literally just like and subscribe with post notices on, it would mean so much to me as I have spent quite a lot of time and effort making this video. So yeah, that would be really, really appreciated. But anyways, guys, that is going to be the end of the video and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.